All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Phantom Buster to scrape uh, posts from LinkedIn. If you're not familiar with Phantom Buster, it's basically a web scraping tool that specializes in LinkedIn scraping and offers tons and tons of uh, scrapers and automations for um, automating actions on LinkedIn and other social media networks. I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you wanna sign up for a free trial. So uh, here I have an example of a LinkedIn profile which is active. If I scroll down to the activity section here, you can see that this person has posted 18 hours ago, two days ago, three days ago. Uh, these are the posts that I want to be scraping. And all I have to do is create a Google Sheet. Uh, I, I, I named it LinkedIn Scraper, but obviously you can name it anything you want. And then all I have to do here is just paste the, um, the links of the LinkedIn profiles that I want to scrape the posts of. So I found three active profiles. Uh, that have recently posted. I added the profile links right there. I made the Google Sheet um, public. So I changed this from restricted to anyone with the link can view. I copied that link. And now what I need to do is go to Phantom Buster, uh, go to the solutions page, search for activity uh, here. Uh, this will uh, show me the LinkedIn activity extractor. That's the phantom that I need in order to extract the posts. I'm gonna click on use this phantom. And now on the setup page of the phantom, what I need to specify in the first tab here is which profiles I want to scrape. And the great thing here is that I can just enter, I can switch to URL here and enter the URL of the spreadsheet that contains my um, list of profiles. Then I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna allow Phantom Buster to connect to my LinkedIn account by retrieving a session cookie. Um, in order to be able to do this, you need to have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed, which you can just uh, do a Google search for. It's very easy to find and install. Um, click here to connect, it will get your session cookie. Uh, save, and then in the behavior here, uh, I need to specify how many profiles I want to scrape. So how many profiles from my list here I want it to scrape when it gets executed. And I have this set to 10, but I only have three, so it will only scrape three. Uh, then here on the types of activity to extract from the profiles, I have the posts, the post is already selected and that's what, uh, that's what I want to keep it to. If you also want to scrape articles, documents, newsletters, you know, you can select those as well. Uh, this also works for comment, commenters and um, reactions. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna just select pause for this example. Number of items to extract per activity type. So um, this is how many posts it will extract from each profile. So uh, I'm actually gonna make this five for this example. So it will scrape the first, the, the latest five posts from each profile. Uh, and then I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna say that I want it to run once for this example, but you can set it so it runs at a set schedule. For example, once a day, twice per day. So every time it runs, it will just scrape the, the new post. And depending on how many, how many posts you want to get, you can change the frequency um, at which this uh, automation, this phantom uh, gets executed at. Save, launch, and this will now connect to my LinkedIn account and uh, retrieve the posts of those profiles. All right, so the automation is now done executing. As you can see, 15 results have been uh, found. And here they are, here's a preview. So uh, let me actually just change this to 20 so we can see all of them. So uh, for each post, we have the post URL, the image URL in the case that the post has an image, uh, the post content, so the actual text, uh, the number of likes, the number of comments, the number of reposts, the, the post date, um, the action, so we're only retrieving posts, so this will always be post, the profile URL, URL of the person, and then some timestamps here, uh, and then we also get a video URL in the case the post has a video. Uh, you can also download these results and this will generate a CSV file for you. And then by having a CSV file, you can very easily import it to Google Sheets uh, or any other uh, spreadsheet software of your choice. And this is what the result will look like. 
So that's an overview of the Phantom Buster Activity Scraper automation that lets you extract the posts of profiles uh, from LinkedIn. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. And with that said, I will see you on the next one.